I'm Katrina. I'm a registered nurse at the Cameron Wellness Center. So we have a direct pathway going from our GI tract to our brain and back um, to our gut through the vagus nerve. It's called the wandering nerve. Also, we all have different things that are released from our GI tract that can influence the brain. And a lot of times the uh, gut has actually been called the second brain because it has so much neurologic tissue. And so if we don't also address any um, anxiety, depression, all of these other mental health issues at the same time, it's gonna be really hard for us to heal the gut. So that's another thing that makes our practice different is that we actually teach you different breathing exercises to do. We have these two nervous systems called the autonomic nervous systems. They're the are automatic is what you can think of them. Um, one is considered the fight or flight nervous system, while the other is considered the rest and digest ner nervous system. So our bodies interpret stress from the outside world all the same, whether that's actually when we were hunters and gatherers and we're running away from a tiger or something that was literally going to kill us, or today when we have social anxiety or have work anxiety or things that aren't literally going to kill us, our brain still interprets them the same way and causes the same changes in our body. If we're running from a tiger, our body doesn't care about our digestion. Why would it? There would be no reason to be digesting food properly if you're actually in real danger. It also doesn't care about our immune function as much. Constantly people are eating on the run extremely fast with their work in front of them in their cars. I'm constantly hearing like, oh, I'm, I'm a, such a fast eater. I don't really actually chew my food entirely. Well, when we do that, our bodies actually don't stimulate our digestive process because we're in that fight or flight mode. So we don't produce as much saliva, which is really important. That's like the first part of our food breakdown process. It, our saliva also protects us from heartburn. Another thing that happens, our pancreas doesn't release as many digestive enzymes. Our gallbladder doesn't release bile, which helps us absorb fats and our really important fat soluble vitamins like vitamin D, K, E, and A. It also doesn't move our food through our intestines as it should when we're in this fight or flight stage. So what we do is we try to make sure that we can teach you all of these techniques to get your body into that rest and digest mode where you're gonna create the saliva, you're going to stimulate all of that movement of the food through your digestive tract. Your pancreas is gonna release the enzymes as it should. It's really important that we actually think about the gut-brain connection in terms of gastrointestinal disorders.